ready. Put it on the pan so we can hear. Oh, then my phone, my thing is GPS too. Wait, if you turn, like, if you turn it off from here, everything goes off. I don't think so. Alright then. I'm just thinking of the sound. And so that's until my EPS sound is all that comes. Oh! Listen, we're Nigeria, so we're allowed to have all of that, I guess. Abby? I won't disturb your thing. I mean, it should be if you know, you know. Don't turn off the fan. Should be? I don't. Okay. No, no, no. no. That's just turn off. Put the on. How can my battery be dead? What crazy stuff? I'm so hungry. Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica and if you hear that thing beeping, just treat it as part of the concept of this video, you get me. I am about to spill all the tea, not really all the tea, but I'm about to tell you like something really, really important. I feel like it's been on my chest since to talk about. My friend is behind the scenes, she's going to be reading it out and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you're subscribing right now because I plan to be back here like and uploading. So make sure you are subscribed and you are enjoying every moment of the video. Like it, share it and tell your friends to tell your friends. Okay, that's enough. Right. I'm going to be answering a couple of questions because uh, I just don't know. So I'm going to unpack these questions. Okay, let's go. Why did you move back? Why I moved back? Everybody has been asking me this question because a lot of people feel like it's tough to move back, like you know, when the country is not settled. But in all honesty, I feel like the country is it's, there's never like the right time to move back. For me, I felt like I feel like I moved back because I just wanted to be close to the people that I really love, so like my family. Nigeria gives me a feeling that I've never felt before. Jokes aside, though. I've always told myself that I'll be back in Nigeria, but I, it was one of those things that felt like I was only saying it without putting into action. But then something happened like between December and January that just made me feel like, listen, it's time to actually put your big girl pants on and actually do this thing that you're doing. I'll probably make a separate video just to tell you about all of that stuff that happened because it was kind of messy and it just really got me thinking. After that big break happened, I was like, let us actually finally put this thing into practice let's come back home i can see this beef video me on her phone and i'm just like bruh let me give you speak <laughs> ask you how to go and film me but yeah i really moved back so that i could be close to the people that i love and i feel like nigeria is such a creative creative like space for me anyway a lot of my friends that are creators live on this side of the world so i feel like it'd be easiest for me to collaborate and like make cool videos so that's what I'm saying. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Shameless plug. Right. Next question. How long were you away for? I was away for a whooping 10 years. But I always came back in between. Not always, but like I came back quite often. Maybe for Christmas, wedding, a sister's wedding, and in between. So even though I was away for that long, I was always in touch with home i feel like there was a point where i stayed at least three years without even thinking about moving back or coming back for christmas because i just felt comfortable but when everybody left the country for well, just me and a few of my friends i was like bruh i think it's time to come back do you have any major concerns now that you have moved back i do like i actually do my biggest concern is that i don't get carried away eating because tell me why i've eaten yam every single day since i came back last night i ate fried yam this morning i ate boiled yam and if you allow me this afternoon i'll probably give them pounded yam so my wow. biggest concern is that like i don't get carried away eating but then i mean i'll find like some people that would like to work out with me because some people <laughs> don't be working out with me and then another concern for me is the internet you know because what? with this line of work with this line of work like you know we need like fast internet and you know internet hasn't been the fastest and it's i mean it, i mean it's not something that i cannot live without because sometimes so the internet is struggle when i'm uploading videos in the abroad because it can take me at least four five six seven eight hours to upload one video so i'm, I'm open to all the challenges so anytime you don't see videos when you're supposed to see just Blame it on the internet, it's not necessarily me. <laughs> What's the plan? What's the plan? The plan is to... Who the plan. I have 
two sides to me or even more i have my professional side that is very passionate about education and all of that and i have my other side that is so creative and very passionate about instagram youtube and just content creation in general so the plan is to be able to merge these two or not even merge them but like focus on something i'm currently focusing on education and i decide i'm doing my content too so i'm going to tell you all about these things maybe when i towards the end of the year is that all our questions bonus question bonus question do you ever see yourself living in nigeria again do i sell myself leaving nigeria again i feel like that's still too early to tell for now i'm okay i'm in lagos now i know when you're in lagos you, you don't feel like you've left abroad like that because lagos what? you for misha <laughs> for misha for misha i feel like when i'm in lagos like i mean i was looking for flowers there i mean i wasn't looking but then i found this beautiful shop in lagos called the flower shop ng plug if you're watching this video find me so that you can tell me to come and get me yeah, I was watching that video. I, I mean, not watching the video, but yeah. I feel like right now, no. In the future, maybe I have to do like a part two of this video towards the end of the year, just to tell you what my expectations were and what my reality was, and that's it. I'm literally just right here, like open to all the possibilities that Nigeria has for me to offer. I'm always I'm a firm believer in the grass is greenest where you water it. So I'm planning to water my grass here and see what I can actually grow. I'll be as honest as I can about my move and my journey. So if there's anything else that you want to ask, just ask it in the comments and I'll be sure to respond to you. Without further ado, I say thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to come back again every Sunday. Hopefully, <gasps> hopefully, because I plan to be uploading videos every Sunday. Come back every Sunday to see what I have for you. I remember if the video is not here on Sundays, the internet, not me. You get me. Right, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. What light is murder? Thumbnail. I'll kill you. Thumbnail. Wait, wait, let me see. It's not bad. It's very nice, isn't it? Mhm. Maybe we can even do a podcast from here. Can't we? Yeah. How? Okay, someone can switch it up. But where we hope? Let's move on. Might be in the middle. Just in the hallway. Woo! We're filming for a podcast. I'll catch you later.